Hello and thank you for joining us for this week's track guide for Daily Race C. I'm Jay Bay Racing and I'm here in association with Kirith Esports to bring you this guide for Fuji. And we're in the Group 2 cars for 12 laps. You've got soft and medium tyres available to you, but you must use the mediums at some point in the race. So definitely make sure you've got the softs on for the qualifying and then it will be interesting to see how the strategy plays out during the week. Uh, the best car to use is definitely the Nissan GTR for qualifying and I imagine will be for the race as well, so jump in that. And since the update, it seems like you can really trust second gear a lot in this. So in Group 2 cars, if you've been racing them before on Gran Turismo 7, you might have felt you need to feed the power in uh, quite gently when you're in second. But you can actually accelerate quite hard um, pretty early on in this. There's quite a lot of turbo lag and then the power all kicks in at the top end of the gear. So let's get into the lap guide, break it down. Technical track at the end of this one, so... Uh, watch out for a couple of pointers there and hopefully this will help you get some time. Here we go with the lap guide then and please do remember to smash the like button if you're enjoying what you're seeing. We're going to be looking out for our first brake marker as the start of the kerb on the left hand side. So just as you're approaching the start of that red and white kerb, heavy on the brakes, down into first gear to turn in, take loads of this kerb here on the right hand side but then short shift to second and as I was saying you can feed the power in really quite early and be confident on the exit of these corners. Next corner is a scary one, we're going to be looking out for the 50 metre board on the right hand side. So just before the 50, dab of brake, turning in hard and then get on the power just after you clip that curbing. You can run off on the right here as long as your two left tyres uh, don't cross the, the white line after the blue section of Astro starts. And here one handy tip I've got is that lamp post on the right hand side you see there. That is my lifting point, so you want to be flat out coming around that corner but then lift when you see the lamp post a little bit braking just before the 50 board to get the car to turn in. I missed the apex here but you want to be getting ideally over onto that red and white kerb. Again first gear to turn the car in and then second gear for powering out. I uh, just we've got a short break here. If you are watching this on Kirith's channel then please do feel free to come over to JBay Racing and watch the content we've got going on over there as well. Just after the sign here, the Dunlop sign, we're braking after you come under the banner. Again, hard on the brakes, down into first gear, turn in, take loads of this kerb on the right but then short shift to second burst of power in between this and the left hander but you do need to lift off to just clip this kerb and then you can power out and cut most of this curbing on the way up to the right hander here just as you approach that green astro on your left little dab of brake in second gear and then you want to feed the power in and you can use this runoff on the left here that you're going to see me use although be careful because it is quite slippery and now this one is a bit of a tricky uh, point to know where to brake you see I brake quite early come out wide and then turn in you just have to kind of get used to judging that one but then make sure you do clip that kerb on the left hand side and for this last quarter I'm looking for the red end to the barrier on my right hand side so as that comes towards the end of my vision that's where I'm getting on the brakes a little bit of first gear to turn the car in and then into second and this is probably the corner you need to be the most careful when feeding the power in because you have got a lot of lock on the steering and there's a little bit of camber going on there as well uh, all in all, that was good enough for a 1 minute 30 dead, so if that's helped you out, then please do drop a like, consider subscribing to myself and Kira's channel, and we look forward to seeing you next week for some more track guides. Thanks very much.